my name's Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is The Frugal Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video I'm just going to share with you my cash envelope setup for 2022. It's not that different from 2021 but I thought I'd just share it with you. But first of all can I just say if you've watched my video that went up on the 1st of January, thank you so much for watching. I've had such a positive response to the challenge that I'm doing in 2022. If you've not watch that and have no idea what I'm talking about I'll leave a link below to that and you can see just the challenge I've set myself for the following 12 months and it relates directly to these cash envelopes because some of that will impact how I spend with these and I'll talk more about that during this video but if you're new here then welcome and don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started so my binder is the same as always it's just from Amazon again I'll leave a link below to this blue one and the purple one that I use for my sinking funds that video for sinking funds is coming up on Wednesday don't forget to come back and watch that I've got a really exciting sinking fund set up for this year that I'm so excited about but yes yeah, so this is just from Amazon so I'll just get out my envelopes and show you what I've got for the next 12 months and like I said, the bind is from Amazon and so are the envelopes. I just made the little inserts to put in there. This is no different to normal, but the first one is food. Now the food envelope is one of the two envelopes this year that's going to be really different from last year. And that is because the money that's going to fill or be used for my food budget and my miscellaneous budget is purely coming from last year. So again, if you watch the video from the first, that will make much more sense. But this is the food budget and the food budget envelope in comparison to some weeks last year is going to be really small but that's part of the challenge. That doesn't change from week to week it's it's just going to have to be. To be fair I'm going to try and make my money last as long as possible that's the point of the challenge but I've also got to make sure that my boys get a varied diet with you know, lots of food and vegetables. It's kind of finding that balance as we are all trying to do. The second one is petrol, so petrol actually is the one that's different, so in terms of cash envelopes I haven't decided yet whether to keep this as a cash envelope or whether to change to just using my card for petrol and the reason behind that is from this week my job changes and I'll be using a lot more petrol every single week from now on. And in some ways, I don't know if it's just going to be easier to have my card for petrol because basically I'm just going to have to fill the tank up every time, which is a lot more than I'm used to spending. If you've watched these before, I normally put £30 a week in the petrol envelope and that is it. And that does me or has done for such a long time now. But first of all, petrol prices are increasing, aren't they? But second of all, I'm going to be using pretty much a full tank every week. So therefore, I'll need to fill it up. So I can't decide, what would you do? Let me know down below in the comments what you would do in this circumstance. I can't decide whether to keep it as a cash envelope and just withdraw the money, like I have been doing I suppose, or keep it as it's something that is paid by by card and it just has to be how it is from now on. I can't decide what's easiest. I love my cash envelopes and I love that it keeps me on budget, but this is one that has to change and I can't decide whether it has to change into something that's not a cash envelope or not but that's the second one so the third one is miscellaneous again the same as always however this is the second envelope that is purely coming from this challenge that i've set myself so for those of you that are new miscellaneous basically covers everything that's not included in any of the others so for us particularly it covers kind of household cleaning things the cat things stuff like that that doesn't really fit in any of the others. I used to have more cash envelopes that ha so I had a cat's envelope for example for their cat food and things but it just made more sense to streamline this into this one envelope and this is how this works for me. This might not be how it works for you but you need to find your own balance but this miscellaneous budget is the second envelope that comes from this challenge. Now I would be lying if I said that didn't make me slightly nervous. I feel like the first half of the year is going to be really smooth. I probably won't notice that much of a difference to be quite honest. The second half of the year is going to be when the pressure mounts because I'll be able to see the balance because it's in the bank at the moment kind of going down at a fairly rapid rate. So yes they are cash envelopes and yes I've got a number in mind but it's all about being I guess 
just monitoring how that goes. Miscellaneous wise, we don't tend to go overboard and stuff and I feel like we've got quite a lot of things in at the moment which I can kind of work through. Again, as the month goes on and the year goes by, that will be more and more difficult to kind of balance. But the miscellaneous envelope is the, is the other one that comes from those challenges. The fourth one is children. For all of kind of everything that I've said so far, the children's budget doesn't change. I don't want them to miss out on anything as we go through the year. Just because we are kind of aiming for early retirement doesn't mean that we don't do stuff in the process. And for the boys, that includes, I have two boys, that includes them being able to do things on a weekly and monthly basis. So in terms of their budget, actually, it stays the same. I don't tend to spend it all, actually, so it doesn't always kind of get spent and it normally gets put into a savings pot. I haven't decided what to do this year, if I'm going to roll over the ones that are not to do the challenge or whether I kind of save them and figure out something else to do. My gut instinct is to, if I don't spend the cash envelopes, from the normal ones and not the challenge ones I feel like I might roll them over to sinking funds and that way that especially when you see what this last sinking fund is I feel like that will make the most impact in our budget but we'll see so the children's budget weekly and monthly thing does not change at all and that's the fourth cash envelope and then the final one is eating out now this in theory will be zero for the majority of the year I talked about this in the other video but I think there are three circumstances this year where we already have things planned and I'm totally fine with that. This also includes takeaways, it also includes takeaway coffees and if you know me you know that that's a proper advice of mine. This in theory should be zero for the year apart from those three things that are fairly important things in our life this year that we want to celebrate. Especially after the previous two years where it's just been fairly tricky. So if you see me putting money in this eating out envelope and I've not specifically said that it's always because it's for X, Y and Z, feel free to leave me a comment going, uh, you're not supposed to be having anything in there this year and remind me of that. Because again, I feel like the first kind of few months will be easier. I feel like the second half of the year, almost I suppose when like the kind of going gets tough and willpower might not be as much as it should be then that will be when it's more difficult and that will be when temptation starts and that will be when it's oh well it's only one that's when i need to be more mindful and if you're new here the cash envelope system works so well for kind of reining in your impulse spending it really does that system these envelopes combined with the budget planner and i'll leave a link below to that have absolutely transformed my spending habits my impulse shopping everything so much for the better if you're kind of on the fence about giving cash envelopes a try, I absolutely recommend giving them a go. And if it doesn't work, then you've not lost anything. But for the majority of people, when you hand over cash, it makes it much harder and it makes it much more real in the process. So to recap, I have five cash envelope categories this year and they are eating out, children, miscellaneous, petrol and food. And here we go for 2022. Let me know down below if you're using cash envelopes. Are you loving the system like I am? If you don't, what stops you from using these? Let me know down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.